dude, it was bomb, man. I'm so full right now, I can't even breathe. No, this is my favorite fucking place, dude. They do, like, all the basic stuff really well. So there's, like, nothing, like, really too special about them. Like, nobody will come here for a specific dish, but... No, I mean, it's... Ball. It's like, this is all you need. Yeah. I mean, for me, I just need a good bowl of pho, a good, like, vermicelli bowl, or, like, some good spring rolls and good egg rolls, and I'm good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yo, so, like, I actually saw that video that you did, man. Yeah. Yo, I just want to say, bro, like, I really didn't mean to offend you. Like, I wasn't trying to make you feel bad about, you know, what you do for a living and, and uh, you know, what your path is. But to be honest, man, like, I was just saying how I saw it. And I just felt like, I mean, that's like a half-ass apology. <laughs> No, but, but I mean, not, I don't know, man. Not, I, 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 that problem. wasn't my intention. That wasn't that's my intention. That's not the problem, though. And you know, like, for me, like, you know, I'm not, like, trying to say anything about it. But I, I had to talk to Khalif about it because I wanted to see what his perspective was. I like, saw, and I saw what Khalif said. It, it was, at the end of the day, dude, like, you know, these people on camera may not see, you know, everything that we do. But, you know, for the past four or five years that I've known you, every time we bring up something that I do, you kind of talk down to it like it's not her, you know? And at the end of the day, you don't know anything yeah. for a living. So when you come at me like that, I have to think to myself, okay, number one, like, am I am I going to be upset about this, or it, does he have the best intentions? Uh -huh. And so for me, I, I give you the benefit of the doubt, and I know it's your best intentions. Oh you have the shittiest way with words. Like you always have to say that one little thing under your breath about what I'm doing, and I don't make the same comments about what you're doing. So. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. But I just feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say what I felt. If I feel a certain way, if I feel a certain way and and I don't say it, how are we friends? Because that means that I'm just, I'm just like a yes man and just saying what you want to hear. And to be honest, man, like, yeah, I don't see what you do day to day. I just feel like you got a lot of excuses, man. And you see me like busting ass and going out here and and trying to like prove myself every day and doing these jobs you know dude i just got yo so like yeah like i was saying man like dude like, i got a lot of real life experience man like like you can't deny the fact that i've done these certain projects and I've taken away something from every one of those things, and I'm just trying to tell you how I see it, and I see the best. You're seeing it through, through your lens, so I, I, look, I understand that every time we have like, a conversation about this, like you always talk about what you've done and your accolades and everything like that. Yo, that's because, dude, David. Yo, that's because I have to talk about what I'm doing to tell you what what the experiences were. So they can fucking learn from it or something, man. Yeah, because like, you can talk about your experience, but what I'm saying is, when I talk about what I do for a living, <coughs> you always bring up what you're doing. It's like you're trying to do this dick measuring contest, and I like, honestly, I don't really care about. I'm just trying to tell you that what I do is just as valid as what you're doing. I've done yeah. stuff like in your time, and I, like I said, I respect your craft, but I just want you to respect my craft too, because what I do is also work. Okay. It's, it's legit work. Okay. You, you know what I mean? Like, but you've been, but you're. Your spectrum is is in this insular world, right? You're at your house doing these videos and stuff, but you're not really, yeah, you're putting yourself out on the internet, but like, are you getting in front of physical people and putting your putting your pride on the line, put, put like your insecurities and all that stuff for and people I, to I've judge? Done, and I've done that. Like, I've done when? Stand up comedy. You, you but how long? How long ago was that? But that it's not even how long ago, dude. I've done that for nearly ten years, and when I quit that, I decided to do it for YouTube. Now, for you, like your audience is like this great, you know, whatever these casting directors, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not willing to. Not even but see, that's that's the problem. No, 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 David, David, David. No, no, hold up, hold up. No, no, no. David. Hold up, because you do realize that if I choose one year route, which is the route that I really want to go, there's a bigger consequence. I gotta leave these kids, and that's. To me, that's a hard push to do because these are the people that help me get to where I am right now, and I refuse to abandon them. 
I, I, that's that's something. Okay. That I have to wait okay. Don't something you think? Better. Okay. Let me let me let me let me play devil's advocate. Don't you feel obligated to your fans? You know, to explore other options as well and give them what they want. But that's what I'm saying. Is you're not pushing your fucking self, and you just like in your comfortable ass shit, and you just do the same thing. And what are you doing? I don't to push myself though. Okay. I don't know because I don't I don't see what you do every day. Exactly. That's exactly my point. You don't see what I do every day. Meaning you don't understand my fucking. But see, that's the same thing. Well, that's but that's what I'm saying. I don't even see it. I don't see the product of how you're growing. So. I'm not seeing wh wh where that that's panning out. Where? What's the difference between now and three years ago with what you were doing? 1.3 million subscribers. That's the okay. That's great. Right that's great. But then what? See, so, see, I think this is the issue right now. See, you're reflecting your discontent in your career with my life. You, like, no, no, no. Listen, listen, no, listen. Look, I'm happy with the way I am. Dude, you know, I'm happy. And I, and I like pursuing other stuff outside of it, which is why I come to talk to you about pursuing acting. Yo, I'm still I think you have a misconception. No, no I, 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 misconception. I think you have a misconception. You always have to validate what you're doing by talking about your career, what you've done. This is Dude, I I'm don't do that. Yes, you do. No, you just, no, I don't, David. I never said I was an amazing actor. I'm still fucking learning, dude. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm still a fucking student, dude. Okay, and I get that too. Well, so am I. <laughs> you know, so I'm still learning my crap and I'm still doing what I have to do. See, then you, don't fuck David. Then don't fucking come to me and tell me you want to fucking be an actor and then not fucking do anything about it because it's fucking annoying, dude. No, see, I'm not doing the, acting the way you want me to do. That's a dude, and, No, a and, and I think I think you have a misconception about my life and my career. Because I don't I don't have any discontent with what I'm doing. How many times have you came and said, can you talk about being tired of like hearing other people's shit? No. How about being tired of the fact that you're always asking yourself that you deserve better? Yo, David. I say those things because I'm so invested in what I do. So like those roles, I'm invested. I'm invested in that stuff. It means a lot to me. See, like, where is that for you? Where you're like, if I don't, if I don't do this, I told you where the meaning comes from. It comes from these people. Then don't fucking talk to me about wanting to be an actor. See, that doesn't even make sense. To me. Like, I come to you for advice, and you act like I don't use it. I do then use fucking it. listen. Then don't fucking ask me for advice, dude. Well, if you're gonna ask me like for, your bad thing in you or some shit. dude. I don't because I'm not doing the stuff the way then, you want me. Then, then if you're gonna ask me, you tell me I don't do stuff the way that you want me. You tell me I don't take any advice. Because that's absolute bullshit, dude. Like you only okay, see. Okay, so then, then where the fuck is the acting class? Where the fuck is the fucking? You don't even fucking go to auditions, dude. That's fucking funny because I do go to auditions. What? I don't fucking listen, listen. Of course, you don't fucking hear about you. I'm proud of telling people about the stuff that I failed at. Like, that's not good. That's fucking part of it, David. Of course it's a part of it, but what I'm saying is, is that I am going to do my route. You have a different way that's of doing The fucking, things. yeah. You what, the fucking, the fucking, the fucking million, the fucking million year route? Yeah, no, you got different opportunities than I did. You are a seasoned actor. Yo, I fucking worked my I, way Yes, you bottom. did, and I'm saying, and I'm working it through my head. I'm telling you right now, and you're sounding a little bit pissed off for some fucking reason, which I don't Because understand. I am fucking pissed off, dude. pissed off, dude, that I don't understand. Dude, I'm see, fucking pissed off because you don't fucking listen yeah, to me. See, this is why I didn't want to bring up last time when we had a conversation. This is why I talked to Khalif about it first before I talked to you. Dude, about whatever, dude. Because you got this fucking temper. Yo, I don't give a fuck what Cleve says. I don't give a fuck what Cleve says. I'm just asking you to chill out. I'm just having more. No, I don't want to fucking chill out. Which is why I don't get to talk to you about this in person. Which is why I can't talk to you. For real? You cause scenes all the fucking time. Like you're making people this way. I'll fucking cause a scene if I fucking want to, dude. I'll fucking cause a scene if I fucking want to, dude. What the fuck, bro? That's your husband, dude. I don't know. Can I get the selfies? What the fuck is your problem, dude? No, just take me fucking home. Fucking take me home. No, but but seriously, what do you what do you want me to do? What do you what do you want? All I gotta say is, dude, just don't fucking ask me for advice. That's it. Done.
I'm fucking over it. Oh, that's funny you, because you're the one who told me to come to you for fucking advice. Yo, just fucking take me home. I'm over it, dude. I'm over it. All right, man. Your fucking husband's out of his fucking mind. <laughs>